Hi folks, this is your MWIS fleeting view in association with Petzl. We're going to go through five days ahead, so stay tuned for the Christmas forecast. Friday and the weekend, first of all, though. Another very windy day on the way on Friday. Not quite as severe as Thursday, but still with gales or severe gales across the higher mountain tops much of the day. Coldest of conditions across the northern part of Scotland, where the freezing level will be as low as four or 500 metres here, up to around 1,000 metres near the west coast around Mull and Arran, and generally just above freezing on the high tops for England and for Wales. Some rain and some drizzle then across some of those at Western Hills. There'll be some snow across the Munros in Scotland and lower than that some snow showers coming down to some low elevations in more northern parts of the country. Driest conditions typically toward the eastern side of the Highlands. Cold air stays across northern Scotland into the start of Saturday at least, with some snowfall for a time again to quite low elevations before a warm front is pushing up from the southwest and that introducing much milder air for all, and temperatures will lift above freezing point towards the higher mountains, so any initial snow will all turn to rain towards the tops. A very windy day once again, severe gales across the mountains, stormy on the high tops, maybe just a lull for a time in northern Scotland but expect those gales to soon be widespread. Rain, drizzle and low cloud then across many western hills, fairly small amounts in total for England and Wales, a nuisance feel though, dampness in the air and the wind will be the main story of the day again. Staying very windy, I'm afraid, into Sunday with more severe gales across the mountains, some further frequent precipitation, that all falling as rain across England, Wales and southern Scotland with very mild air coming through here. Chillier air coming in behind the cold front, though, will see the freezing level start to drop across the highlands, getting down towards 1,000 metres, maybe 800 metres late in the day across more northern parts. So a transition from rain back towards snow across the Munros, at least, as we go through Sunday. That most persistent in the west and turning showery as we head through the afternoon. Christmas Day itself has the chillier air across Scotland with the freezing level 800 metres or below in northern regions, nearer to about 1,000 metres close to the central belt. For England and Wales, the temperature on the tops near or just above freezing point. It might just start to come down a bit during the day. A complex series of fronts around, so some areas of precipitation that mostly falling as rain across Wales, maybe just starting to turn to sleet on the high tops in the Lake District. For Scotland, across the Munros, most precipitation will fall as snow, largely rain at low elevations where that exists. Showery conditions probably most likely in western regions could just be something a bit more organised in there for a time. Best of drier spells away toward the eastern side of the highlands through the day. Still looks rather windy those westerly winds uh, rather brisk 30 to 40 miles per hour could be stronger than that over the high tops at least in gusts at times and especially further south it could be that we've got gales 40 50 miles per hour or more over the tops for a good part of the day Boxing Day is looking the most optimistic day at this stage. Keep an eye on the forecasts, of course, but we've got a ridge of high pressure trying to build in from the south. Previous fronts may still give some local areas of showers and snow flurries across the highlands, a chance that that could be a bit more organised, at least for a time in places. The wind speed looking lighter overall, though, for most places by this time. Temperatures most likely sub-zero across the mountains, above around 800 to 1,000 metres for the day and a bright day away from any showers some sunshine coming through notice the area of low pressure toward the southwest just got to watch for that approaching wales later on in the day and there's the potential then into the middle of next week that that moves in and could give a period of snowfall more widely across scotland possibly northern england across the hills or even to some lower elevations that is one to watch carefully at this time I'll have an update on all of that in Friday's video. For today, that is your fleeting view in association with Petzl.